So today, I am gonna start laying track in this tunnel, but I wanna kinda finish it off a little bit. Um, and to do that, I wanna kinda make the inside of the track, uh, inside of the tunnel uh, look like it's a, a rock. Uh, really simple. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take some of this uh, copy paper, uh, it's just ordinary, eight and a half by 11, crumble it up, and then we'll pull it apart. And then, uh, and then we're just gonna just kind of slap it up on the wall here. Um, I do have this one little piece that's sticking out. Uh, I'm gonna grab a, a, a little razor blade and cut that off. So hang on just a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I got the tool I need. So let me cut this off right about here, if I can get it. And, uh, there we go. All right. Pull uh, glue on. Now, normally, I'm see I don't have any track down there yet. If I had put track down there, it'd be a good idea to cover it up with masking tape. Something I have not been doing. Uh, you just really do not want to have glue. See how it, it just drops onto the track. You don't want to be cleaning this stuff off your track. I am actually, I'm using wood glue. Um, regular white glue is sufficient. Uh, wood glue, I just happen to have a whole bunch of it, so I'm using it. Let's put this on there. You see that goes on really well. Um, so there's a little bit of a, gonna be a bit of a seam there. I am not entirely worried about it. Because what I'm, I'm doing a section here that's not really going to be seen anyway. Uh, let's do another sheet. Crumble it up. For this, let's put the glue on this side. really fast doesn't have to be a work of art I think I'm gonna get some push pins to kind of hold that in place while the glue dries hold that in place pretty well glue all over my fingers there's a good time to try to get that press down all right so I'm gonna let the glue dry uh, that's all I'm going to do there for now. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest all the way back to the end of my tunnel. I won't do that on camera. Um, and then uh, I'll probably take a hair dryer to help the glue dry a little bit faster and then we'll paint. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress. I went ahead and put a sheet of paper up here and I finished all the way down past the end of my tunnel. Uh, I'm going to find a place to put that glue. I'm going to put a sheet 
on the top. I'm gonna start doing the top too. Um, I've also got my LEDs up there to so light up the backdrop so I can have kind of a glow behind the mountain. So I don't wanna cover those up. But, uh, so it'll go on like that. Light glue there. These LEDs are actually pretty durable, so. I've cut them in half, I've plastered over the top of them, and they still work. Um, cutting them in half is not advisable, but if you do, you just uh, take some wire and solder them back together. Okay, that's the glue for that. So what I'll do when I paint is I'll just take uh, they're a little bit thicker, less watered down paint, and that should hide all the seams where I went over the glue. Thumbtacks. So that's what I was doing. Got that backwards. You see that? Connects the two sheets pretty well. So, all right, I'll just continue on and uh, Next, uh, we should be painting. Okay, my glue is thoroughly dried. So now I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a thin coat of primer on top of the paper. I'm using rust oleum and uh, that's the color I'm putting on. That won't, uh, we won't see it once I put the final coat of gray on it. And I think that's going to make my gray paint hold a little bit better. Um, I've already gone through, I put uh, masking tape over the top of all my LEDs. Those are the only things that I don't want to get paint on back here. Uh, everything else is a free for all. It doesn't matter if I get paint on it. This is an unseen portion of my layout. Really the only time you'll possibly ever see it is if I have a camera on my train and run it back here um, but uh, yeah so here we go Okay, I don't want to get too close to the camera with my paint, so do the rest off the camera. All right, it is all painted, and uh, you know what? The back side of my layout has never looked so good. Uh, yeah, still going to paint it brown. Uh, not brown, uh, gray. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make it look a little bit like stone. Uh, it will be seen, like I said, when the train runs through it, if I have a camera on the train. So I'll try to dress it up a little bit, but uh, yeah. And as for uh, how it is right now, I kind of like it. It looks a lot better. So, Okay, uh, here we go. I added a little bit more light on the subject so we can see what we're doing. Uh, I mixed up this paint. It is acrylic. Uh, it is a dark, it's gray and black. I learned to be a little bit dark uh, because in these tunnels, they tended to be a little bit darker because of the, the, the cult, because of the, the smoke from the 
the train. So whatever this comes out being is what I'm gonna go with. Because uh, like I said, it's a tunnel and uh, nobody's really gonna see it. So, all right. All right, I will do this off camera when I come back. I'll show you the uh, first coat finished. And then we'll decide at that point if I need to do a second coat. All right, I've got back of my tunnel, my, the back of my layout. The tunnel portion is finished. I am going to leave it like that. I'm not gonna do another coat. Like it that way. So, now the bottom portion of that tunnel on the, the, the right side is actually plaster, and the top of it is paper. So, uh, yeah, probably could have just gone with all paper since it was a real pain to put plaster in there. But, uh, yeah, always keep in mind though, paper is going to be pretty fragile and uh, this is not going to stand the test of time. It's uh, meant to be a temporary solution um, in an area where there's not going to be a lot of high traffic as you can see. Uh, there's a small tear right there that happened while I was painting. I shouldn't have to mention that uh, when you're painting paper with water-based paint it is gonna get soggy um, fortunately uh, there were only a couple of three small parts where I, I did that and uh, I'm not gonna worry about it so I'd say that's gonna be it for a video for today tomorrow I will uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this dry overnight to get all get the paper all nice and cured and then tomorrow, uh, I will uh, start laying some track there. But uh, for now, I'm done. <laughs>